guys, today is Saturday, January 21st, 2023. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. So today we are going to be talking about Amazon products. Amazon products that I am loving, loving, loving as it relates to self-care. You guys know I am the self-proclaimed Amazon queen. I felt it was only right that I come in and share with you the items that I am currently just really in love with as it relates to self-care. However, before we go any further into the video, I have to share with you guys the beverage that I am absolutely, absolutely loving right now. I have it here in my really really cute stylish little tumbler or glass this is actually from amazon as well i'll have it linked below but guys i'm drinking bubbly and this is the mango variety i love bubbly there's so many other um, sparkling waters that i enjoy none however are as amazing as my beloved Topo Chico, which for whatever reason is no longer here in existence in the US. I can only find the Topo Chico, I believe it's the mineral water. That one's okay, but I love the crisp bite that you get from the sparkling Topo Chico, but can't find it anywhere. So a hack, I just discovered this hack yesterday on my own. I added, some of you have already been doing this probably so just go on um i added some lemon slices to the bubbly as i drop my ice and um i have to say it is really giving me topo chico vibes so if you're like me and you're a huge fan of the topo chico and you can't find it anywhere add a few slices of lemon the next time we go to the grocery store i'm actually going to get the lime because the Topo Chico that I was drinking before it just disappeared actually had lime in it. So I'm going to add lime to it next time and see if I enjoy it. And I don't think it really matters what flavor bubbly or what brand of sparkling water that you get. It somehow tastes the same either way. Um, it's just really, really good. So now that we have the beverage of choice out of the way for today, the candle of choice that I'm burning today is right here this is actually a leftover candle from the holidays this is from bath and body works yeah bath and body works. drop down leave a comment let me know am i the only one who gets them confused when you're talking about them talking about bath and body works and bed bath and beyond i always get those confused but when you say bed bath and beyond it kind of makes sense that it's not the one I'm referencing, I'm referencing Bath and Body Works. Anyway, girl, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> this is a candle left over from the holidays. And this is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. And I am thoroughly enjoying this one because today, for whatever reason, I am super, super, super stuffy this morning. So loving this one. The peppermint is really, really helping me out. You guys will have to know if you're still, let me know if you're still burning your candles left over from from the holidays if you're like me you purchased a bunch of them and there's no way you're going to get through them in the month of uh december past and this january i'll still be burning my christmas and holiday candles probably well into the spring but anywho, let's go ahead and get into today's video all right so while we're just going over the mundane let's go ahead and do an outfit of the day and then we'll get started with the video well, for today's outfit we'll actually start down here with the shoes and the temperature today here in atlanta is around 65 degrees i think it is for the high so not terribly cold however not terribly warm either so i decided to go with my gucci slides with the fur lining these are the ones that are they have the blue background with the red double G's and the gold horse bit. So love these. I wear these sometimes with my Gucci socks. Today I decided not to love the look when I just have the heels out. So those are the shoes. For the bottoms, I am just wearing these jeans. I'll see if I can lift, list these below. These are actually from Target and I forget the 
Target drop. It's like Target has a drop just about every few months or so where they showcase um, a really great designer in the store. So not really um, sure right now which line this was. these were from, but I'll have them listed below in the description box. But they're like these mom jeans. I love the cuff in them and I love that they are just a little bit cropped. They come right above uh, my ankles and of course I could take the cuff out if I want to but I am loving them this way just word to the wise if you pick these jeans up there is no stretch in them at all no stretch and so for my tee my top Again, if I'm going to wear a t-shirt, it's going to be from the Unfrumpy Mommy store, of course. And so today I'm wearing the blazers, jeans, and tees, tee, in the floral pattern. Um, and I love it. I love this particular pattern. And if you love this shirt, I will have it linked for you below as well. Absolutely love this one. This particular um, variation of the tee is very, very popular in the store too, like I said, with the floral print. And I'm going to wear a blazer. You know, you got on the blazers, jeans, and tees, tee. So you have to have, um, have a blazer. You guys have seen this blazer before. This is the blazer that I picked up from Zara. I actually have it in a really pretty green as well. I love the gold detail on it. The buttons, the gold and the buttons play really well. Um, plays really well with the gold in the metallic um, texture of the tee. Just really, really pretty. I don't think the camera is doing this tee any justice, but I just love it. So many of you already have this tee, by the way. So thank you guys so much. So that is the look. I love it. Really simple. Just running out to do some nondescript errands today. Nothing all that grand. Oh, and for my bag today, going to pick out this old favorite of mine. I get so many compliments when I bring out this Chanel bowler bag. This is a super vintage bag and so many people love it. It has held up beautifully. I love the leather on this bag. This particular Chanel bag is a bag from way back in the Chanel days when they were really doing a good job with Chanel. None of that crazy stuff where the stitching is coming off and you know, all the problems that Chanel is having right now with quality. Um, but yeah, so this is the look. Absolutely love it. Just really comfortable, but still stylish enough to not only run those basic errands today, but you know, if I wanted to drop into, you know, a really cute restaurant and have a bite to eat, I don't think I would feel out of place. So yeah, that's the look for today. All right, now that all of that is done, we can go, get, go ahead and get into my first items that I want to share with you guys for self-care. I'm filming this video, like I said, today here on Saturday. However, you guys will get this video hopefully tomorrow, Sunday. And Sundays are the days where, both Saturday and Sunday are the days where I really, really, really like to stop slow down, focus on myself, and do those things that I have neglected or just didn't have time to do throughout the week. You guys know since we had the pandemic, many of us have been doing our nails at home. For me, I am actually still continuing to do my nails at home and I have to say that I am really rather loving it. I know at the start of things being disrupted, I came to you guys on countless occasions getting tips and tricks for how to make the nails look good because I would go all outside of the lines. But I would ha I have to say now I have it and I'm really enjoying when I can just steal away into either here in my office or upstairs in a little corner and do my nails and watch YouTube videos or my latest um, movie or whatever that I'm into. And it's just really, really comforting. So I'm really enjoying it. And so what I used to do my nails with on yesterday, I actually did mine yesterday, is the Savvy Land Dipping Powder Kit. And I love it. It is a great starter kit. And if you know anything about dipping powder, now you don't just run in here and start doing your dipping powder nails and thinking you're going to be finished in about 10 minutes. This does take a little bit of time, but it's great when you can do these, like I did mine on a Friday. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to do a few shout outs in this video as well. I finished up my orders and, um, I just really wanted to treat myself. So I did my nails on yesterday. But with the, with the um, dip kit, dipping kit, you call it dip kit? Yeah, with the dipping powder kit, 
it does take a little while. There are several steps, three or four steps, but I have really found myself to enjoy doing it. So this particular kit, like I said, it's a starter kit and there's so many different colors in here. I absolutely love this particular kit. The instructions are super, super easy to follow. And like I said, that's what I did on yesterday. And so what I also love to do when I don't have a lot of time to do my nails, I go to my long time fave. I actually started using this particular brand. This is the Beatles gel kit at the very, very start of everything going crazy. And these are just your gel polishes. And you know, you want to use these with your LED lamps or whatever lamps that you have. And once again, the colors are just great. I have this kit right here um, in fall colors, but this one right here, just like with my dipping powder kit has just an array of colors and i love that there are these like little sleeves just makes me look really really official there are three sleeves in here and i have to say the prices are absolutely they're, they're just really great prices especially when you think about the cost of getting your nails done at the salon when you do it at home very cost efficient you're not sitting in the chair waiting on someone to get finished and if you're not a talker, you don't have to sit and try to make conversation with the person sitting across from you doing your nails. So absolutely love these two items. Let's take a quick break in today's video and do just a few shout outs. Just a few shout outs, guys. All right, so first up, Angela J. This was Angela's first order. She is from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. She purchased the Streets of Paris Body Butter. Streets of Paris Body Butter, guys, of course, as many of you already know, is my dupe for Baccarat Rouge, okay? I wanna say I have one jar of Baccarat Rouge left. Baccarat Rouge actually kicked off my love for wanting to add Lux Body Butters to the store. So if you are wanting some Baccarat Rouge Body Butter without the Baccarat Rouge fragrance price, run over to the store right now. I think we have one, one jar of that left. All right, next up is Kabitha B. Kabitha B is from Cypress, Texas. Cypress, Texas. Speaking of Texas, how many of you right now are following along with Deion Sanders and his kids? I wanna say they are based out of Texas. I wanna say he's from Texas. I am absolutely loving following them along on Instagram. That family is a riot. I find them to be very hilarious. But Kavitha, thank you so much for tipping in and shopping with me on this relaunch of the butters. Kavitha purchased the turmeric body butter. She actually purchased two of the turmeric body butters. She purchased one guilty body butter, one of the Gucci guilty body butters. Guys, I have a few Gucci body butters left also. Gucci guilty. I love Gucci guilty. I actually have it in the fragrance itself. And when I tell you, it is an exact dupe. So if you are wanting to smell like Gucci Guilty, but don't want to pay the Gucci Guilty price, head over to the store. I have a few bottles of the Gucci Guilty left over. So Kavitha purchased two turmeric body butters, one Gucci Guilty. She purchased one of the Savage, my rendition of Dior Sauvage. All right, and then she purchased two of the Streets of Paris because she knew, you know, the Streets of Paris is where, it at, where it's at. Thank you so much, Kavitha. Love, love, love that you purchased so many of the butters. So that's like, what, that's two, four, six. No, that's, yeah, yeah, she purchased six body butters. So thank you so much. Next up is Sierra W. Sierra W purchased the turmeric body butter as well. And she is from Mobile. Alabama. I don't think I've ever been to Mobile. I don't know. Uh, but thank you so much, Sierra. Really appreciate that. Miranda A. Miranda is from West Palm Beach, Florida. She purchased the Streets of Paris Body Butter as well. Again, Streets of Paris Body Butter, guys. If you are looking for a body butter uh, in the store, 
and you want one that smells amazing, check out the Streets of Paris. I have one left. All right, now this name right here. <laughs> She's from Miami, Florida. All the Florida people. Miami, Florida. Pi... Pyartha, Pyartha D, and her last name is just as trying for my brain. I, I, wow. I know this is your first order. Yep, this is your first order, Pyartha D. I, that's an interesting name. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tipping in and shopping with me. She picked up the turmeric body butter as well. So thank you so much. Pyartha D. I know I'm butchering your name. I am so sorry from Miami, Florida. Thank you so much for your purchase. Up next, Ursula S. Ursula is an OG over in the store. Thank you so much, Ursula. She picked up a turmeric body butter and a Gucci Guilty. She's from Fishers, Indiana. Or is that Indianapolis? Hey, babe, is I in Indianapolis or Indiana? Fishers. Indiana is Fisher's IN. Let's see if Eric knows. IN, is that Indianapolis or Indiana? Indianapolis is a city. So that'd be Fisher's All right, so Eric just schooled me. Indianapolis is a city. So it's going to be Indiana. You said it right? Yeah. Fisher's Indiana. The next time I do shout outs, I will have forgotten. I won't remember it then. Thank you, Ursula. Turmeric body butter and the Gucci Guilty body butter. Thank you so much. Guys, we're just gonna do a few more. Just a few more. All right, Jean Thomas J. Jean Thomas J picked up also the turmeric body butter and she hails from Brookhaven, Brookhaven, Pennsylvania. Guys, my nose is getting more and more stuffy as I talk to y'all. What in the world? I tell you, I'm about to go do a spa treatment on my nose. All right, Hope, hi Hope, hi Hope. Hope is an OG in the store, an OG over here on the channel. Hey Hope, girl, how you doing? She picked up the Savage Body Butter and the Cashmere Gold Body Butter. Two great, great, great uh, fragrances right there. So thank you so much, Hope. And Hope is from Riley, North Carolina. Up next, Stephanie F. Stephanie is from Corona, California, and she also picked up the Gucci Guilty Body Butter. Thank you so much, Stephanie, from Corona, California. Up next, we have Stephanie A. Stephanie has shot with the store many times as well. She is from Columbus, Georgia, and she picked up the Gucci Guilty Body Butter. Y'all better get in and get these Gucci Guilties. All right, they're going. Stephanie, that was... Uh, Stephanie, that says your first order, but I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Alvitra B. Hi, Alvitra. Alvitra is also an OG over on the channel. This is Alvitra's third order, and she picked up the streets of Paris. And Alvitra is from Frisco, Texas. All right, thank you, Alvitra. Two more, guys. Just two more. Just two more. Just two more. All right, Tamara N. Tamara N. This says this is your second order. She is from Condova, Cordova, Tennessee. All right, Cordova, Tennessee. She picked up the Streets of Paris body butter and she also picked up a Sauvage body butter. And then the last one for today, guys, is Holly H. Holly H picked up two of the Streets of Paris body butters. All right, and she is from Pasco. Is this Wyoming? Babe, what's WA? I say it's Wyoming. Do, 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 do. Washington, all right. Pasco, Washington. Holly, let us know if you're from Pasco, Washington. Let us know. Drop down, leave a comment. All right, back to the video, guys. Just had to stop, take a few minutes, and do just a few shout outs. We have so, so many left. I just grabbed a handful from downstairs to run up here and share with you guys. But I sold out of quite a bit of the items in the store. And I just can't thank you guys so much. I'll be doing another relaunch. It won't take as long this time. All right. I'll be getting these things back in stock in a few weeks. But I just really appreciate everyone who is patient with me as I get the restock. Okay, back to the video. This little guy right here, this drill or nail file, 
absolutely comes in clutch guys remember i'll have everything linked below everything that i share with you here today is from amazon so this is the melody Susie little um nail drill or nail file what i love about using this little item here at home on myself is the fact that i can gauge how much pressure to put down on my nails so that i'm not destroying my nail beds if you have ever had one of these little guys used on you at the nail salon and they have had it charged up or revved up so high when they go up and hit your nail bed in the wrong area you remember it all right and so you're kind of you, you have ptsd every time you go in and they pull this out but i love that i can gauge just how much um, i want to have it tuned up there's a cord i don't have it with me right now but you can adjust just how strong you want the power to be. I love that in the kit that comes with the nail drill, you get all of these little drill bits <laughs> or little every board type doodads. Um, you get like a whole bag of them and um, they just really come in handy because if you are using them to take off, let's say your dipping powder nails, then you know they can tend to wear down a bit but no worries for a really great price you have um, quite a few replacements here so could not tip out of here without mentioning this these next items i am super super excited to share with you guys because i have been actually seeing some phenomenal results all right this first item is going to be the sadara micro needle derma roller i know you guys have heard about the derma rollers and the derma needling, it is super, super popular, but it's been out forever, all right? So for the last seven or eight months or so, I have been using mine. Again, all of these items, guys, are from Amazon. I do my micro needling once a week, depending on how sensitive my skin is for a particular week. I may skip a week, do it every other week, but I tell you, I do it at least three times a month, all right? so absolutely a staple in my skincare routine right now so i will share with you guys how i like to do mine if you guys would like to see a more in-depth demonstration on how i do my micro needling do drop down leave a comment let me know and i'll be sure to put that in my video rotation um, but the first thing you want to do before you start using your micro needle derma roller is make sure you sanitize your roller really, really well. And what I like to do is just use the top that comes with it, turn it over, put some type of alcohol or whatever your favorite um, disinfectant is in here that is safe for your skin and just let it sit for a little while every now and then you want to come back and give it a roll so that you make sure that all of the needles have been covered and i let that sit for about five minutes now while that is sitting what i will then do is use this is a new facial cleanser that is actually on amazon and guys i absolutely love it this is the lyra bio enzyme clean cleanser and it really works well when you're getting ready to you know poke holes or maybe have little cuts or whatever on your face this is a great cleanser to use prior to using the micro needler when you use this guy right here you want to make sure that your skin is absolutely as clean as you can possibly get it you want to make sure any bacteria or anything like that is off of your face because if you don't when you go to use your micro needle all of those little nasty particles on your face are possibly going to get pushed pushed into your skin and it can really make the situation a lot worse all right so I love that this is a super, super cleansing cleanser. So it's the Lara Bioenzyme Cleanser. It's not going to make a lot of suds, but guys, it is absolutely doing the job. So this is on Amazon. I then go in with my Unfrumpy Skin Turmeric Mask and Scrub. And guys, those of you who got this round of the turmeric butter and the turmeric scrub, you guys have been sending me so many comments. I cannot wait for you guys to see your comments in the newsletter. Thank you so much for all of the great feedback. Again, here in just a little bit, I will be sharing with you just a few of the people who tipped in and shopped with me on this relaunch of the body butters and the scrub because you guys, you're loving it. And I thank you so, so, so very much. So 
after I use the cleanser, I follow with the scrub. If you're using the scrub, you know that after you have massaged the scrub into your skin, it does break down into a really moisturizing mask. After it breaks down, you guys know that it turns into a really moisturizing mask and I absolutely love that. So I rinse that away and then I use my toner. I am actually out of my favorite toner. Then I spray my face with this antimicrobial facial cleanser. This is also on Amazon. I'll have it linked below. Here again, before I go in and start rubbing needles across the surface of my skin, I just really want to make sure my skin is as clean as possible. So I spray this on, I don't rinse it off, I let it dry down. Once all the cleaning is out of the way, I want to then numb my face. I almost lost it, so I almost threw it across the room. Once all the cleaning is done, I then want to numb up my face. There are certain areas, I think on all of our faces, that are going to be a little bit more sensitive when it comes to rolling a bunch of needles across your face. So you want to numb it up, and I usually leave the cream on for around 20, 25 minutes. I wipe it away. Then I apply my Unfrumpy Skin Radiant Turmeric Serum. Shout out to everyone who was able to get their hand on a bottle of this stuff. I love it, guys. It smells amazing. I love that there's rosemary in it. Rosemary is absolutely anti-aging, among other things. I have rose hip in here. It's just perfect for the skin. And I layer this on, not too much, not too much. And then I just take my, my roller, very gently going over my face, making sure I get that serum in there. And then once I've done that, I do that about five, maybe five to seven minutes, I take my hands and I go in and massage any of the serum that is left into my face. And I follow up with just a little bit of my turmeric butter. So once again, thank you to everyone who was able to get their hands on any of the butters, the new serums, and I really hope you guys are enjoying your products. What I also love doing, guys, on the weekends when I have a little downtime is applying the Unfrumpy Skin Turmeric Scrub, which will break down into a mask once you massage it into your skin, into your face. And then I take this little guy right here. This is a steamer that I purchased from Amazon, gosh, about two years ago, maybe two or three years ago, guys. It's from the brand Conair, and I love that it has several attachments. This is the one that I use right here. I apply my tubric scrub and mask, let it break down, let this guy get nice and steamy, put my face in here, and I put a towel over my head, and I have just the best, best little steaming mask. The lemon lime fragrance in that turmeric mask is just amazing. And you really, really, really get to see how intense that smell is once you put your face into the steam. And I let it sit on for about 20 minutes. You don't wanna leave it on for more than that, especially with the steam. 20 minutes is optimal. I love that this, this little guy right here comes with several attachments. This is my preferred one. And there's a timer on here that will go off after around, I think it's like 15, 20 minutes, letting you know, girl, you are good. So I love applying, like I said, the two root um, scrub and mask and doing a facial when I have some free time as well. Now, let's say on a day like today where I'm kind of stuffy, what I should be doing is using this also to kind of open up my sinuses. And what I like to do on uh, those particular days, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this tonight for, you know, for my sinuses, is place a little bit of essential oil right down into the tray of the steamer. This right here is peppermint. Peppermint is great. Any type of menthol-y, minty uh, type of essential oil is really great aromatherapy, but also great in opening up the sinuses. So I'll be doing this later. Earlier, I shared with you guys the antimicrobial facial cleanser. This, guys, is great if you're going to do any derma planning. I love derma planning, and I do that about once a week also. There are a bunch of derma planning tools you guys can get from Marshalls, you can get from TJ Maxx, they have them online at Amazon as well. Just get a bunch of these big shavers or razors from Amazon. I have several packs of these because what I find is these are a lot sharper than the tools that you could get from let's say Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They go dull really quickly so you're finding yourself having to replace them quite often. 
but these little razors right here are super super sharp so you don't have to spend a lot of time going over and over and over on your face to you know get rid of the fuzz and that dead skin and if you didn't know that is what derma planning is it just gets rid of that unwanted fuzzy peach fuzz on your face and it gets rid of that layer of dead skin that um you know you may not be able to get rid of sometimes with the um facial cleansers that we're using you want to make sure that your skin is super clean and so using an antimicrobial type of facial cleanser is really good this right here is an oldie but goodie i shared this before <sighs> with so many things in my arsenal sometimes it can be hard to get to all of our little face gadgets but guys this is a really good one this is the new derma natural dermal cell energy Amplifi amplification system and that's just a lot of words to say it's just a high frequency type of tool that is really going to help generate collagen renew skin cells so that you can get a new shiny complexion every month or so i love that it comes with all of these different tools they have tools for under eye they have tools for your face they have tools for your hair absolutely love it now there are several settings on this guy and i love that because those are glass by the way <laughs> if you are new to high frequency frequency currents on your face if you turn this all the way up to let's see the highest setting is uh what is that six the highest setting is a six you're gonna feel it all right start slowly and build your way up but the nederma system amplifies cell turnover for supercharging um it halts and reverses the aging process leading to firmer younger skin and i absolutely love it when i use this guy and i apply my serums i can really feel that you know something has taken place that's what i like to feel when that's what I like to happen when I use, let's say, a scrub. I want to know I'm using a scrub, but I want a scrub that smells good. When I use something like this, any kind of facial therapy, I want to know that I've actually done something. So using this along with your favorite serums, the Afropi Skin Serum, and your mask, and some of the cleaners that I shared with here, you will be well on your way to some really, really nice looking skin. I love the fact that I'm not having to wear makeup as much as I used to. I think I've shared with you guys countless times. I am just really now trying to focus on just making sure my skin is as healthy and just, you know, looking naturally good as possible without having to apply a whole lot of makeup products. Makeup products, makeup they're really great when you are you know you're going to a wedding or you know some really big event but you shouldn't have to put on a face of a full face of makeup just to run a target you know let your inner beauty shine through take care of it on those days where you have time so that when you are really ready to go somewhere and you don't have time to do a full face of makeup you can feel confident walking out with just you know your nice radiant natural skin all right guys and finally what would a self-care day without a good foot massage right this one right here from renfo also found on amazon i have had it forever as you can see it is thoroughly broken in i know my girl Eureth picked up one because i've shared this before maybe a year or two ago I've had it a while and I am continuing to love it. For me, it gives me results very, very comparable to what you would get at the nail salon. So I absolutely love it. There are several settings on here. You can set it from 15 to 30 minutes. I always do 30 and then push the button to let it start again. It's great. I place it up under my desk here when I'm editing videos or just chilling out here in my office. I use it when I'm doing my nails, of course. I use it when I'm sitting and just watching TV. I love it. It has this nice, calming, little pulsating hum to it. So very relaxing. There's a heat setting. I love that you can set the intensity to from low to high. I always use the high intensity setting. So absolutely love it. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Please drop down, leave a comment. Let me know what is the day that you designate as your reset day. What is the day that you designate as a day for yourself to do your self-care? You know, self-care is everywhere. It's 
It's everyone's buzzword right now. Do you partake in any self-care? If so, what do you do and what day do you do it on? Are you using currently any of the products that I share with you here today? I would really like to know. Uh, but anywho, I'm gonna go, go take care of my nose. Really appreciate you guys stopping in today, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.